guys welcome back so today we are currently at the sawmill market back here and i was invited here to go check out a brand new spot that just opened and they're specialized all things chicken rotisserie chicken seasoned chicken all the ways you can imagine that's going to be prepared and i'm super excited to come check it out right now so why don't we just pack our bags and let's get ready and get right into it So excited to show you guys what we got so to start off we got this whole chicken over here that's perfectly seasoned with all their specialty spices and all that good stuff and they placed it on top of a, on top of a flatbread so i'm like really excited to dig into that later and then next we got some salads over here pretty much self-explanatory mixed greens veggies probably a bit of chicken in there of some sort. Then we also have this roti wing bowl, which is pretty much just chicken wings on top of a bit of fried rice. And then we also got a side of these um, fingerling potatoes right here. Look at how cute these are. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So I guess we'll start with this chicken. I don't know how I'm gonna attack this <laughs> at all. How do you carve a chicken? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> okay, so I have no idea how to carve a chicken, but here we go. Please don't judge. <laughs> I guess you start with the, the leg first, maybe? Am I wrong? I may be wrong. Who knows? Okay, so we have some chicken right there. So far, it looks super juicy and soft as I'm cutting right into it. So we have some chicken here, right here. There we go. Gonna take it out. I really like how soft, juicy, and tender this chicken is. The seasoning is absolutely perfect. Definitely would give this one a try if you're ever gonna stop by here. Try out their chicken because it's really good. And then, so next up, we will be trying this salad bowl. It looks like there's some quinoa and, and feta and onions and pickles and, you know, all that good stuff on there. So here we go. Okay, so we got a little bit of everything right here. Perfect salad bite right there. Stare at it. There we go. Okay. The salad's really good, really fresh. Um, pretty much everything a salad is supposed to be so yeah i don't know how else you want me to elaborate more on this salad but it tastes like a salad and really good fresh and yeah okay so next up we are going to dive right into this roti wing bowl which i'm super excited about it has all the chicken and all the fried rice you can ask for the fried rice, I was looking at their menu and they said that they, um, I guess, cook it in chicken fat. So I'm excited to see how different it is from all the other fried rice I've tried before. So here's a bite of rice right here. Okay, so it has a, a more different texture and consistency to the fried rice that I'm used to being an Asian and so this one is um, more flavorful as well as has like a little different texture to it that's not as dry and they also throw in some potatoes as well and there's like this little slaw thing that they have I think it's like pickled veggies that they throw on top and so now we're just gonna Try and go and take a little stab at the chicken as well. 
and try and get a little bite of everything all into one. Okay, so we have a little bit of chicken, some veggies, some rice up in here, so we'll try it again. Like earlier, the chicken is really good. They do their chicken really well. So anything with chicken on their menu, I'd recommend you get because they know how to do their chicken. It's really seasoned, juicy, soft, and tender. And just having a little bite of the rice, the veggies, the chicken and everything is really good as well. Super flavorful. It ties everything together. So it's like a little party in your mouth. So it's like a party in each bite. So next we will be trying this other salad. This one is a little different from the one I tried earlier, only because this one has the little radish and, and no cheese. And it looks like they have a little bit of um, fajita veggies. Okay, not really fajita veggies, but like bell pepper. So we are going to try it first bite over here. Usually I would put dressing on on the salads, but I just want to get a first bite and see what it's, how it is first before I throw in any dressing that's going to drown out the rest of the flavors that the salad brings out. So I'm trying to not make a mess over here, but I am completely failing. <laughs> Trying over here. Okay, we got some pepper. Let me grab some cucumber. Okay, so this is the best bite I got over here. So Okay, so this salad over here it's a little more different in taste than the other one I tried before only because the bell pepper and the cucumber that they throw on top has more of like a, a pickly flavor to it so it's like a completely different feel it has a more refreshing taste to it and a salad tastes like a salad so that's always a good thing last but not least we are going to to try their potatoes, the fingerling potatoes that's on their menu. Yeah. So these are their seasoned potatoes. And yeah, so I'm just gonna take a stab at one over here, potato, yes. Okay, and then. Okay, so these potatoes are the real deal. They're really flavorful. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but trust me, everything's really flavorful and seasoned well here. The potato isn't dry, it's soft, and I love me some potato in any shape or form. So this is probably on one of my, my top potatoes that I've tried in a very long time. Alrighty guys, well that concludes it for today's video. Thank you so much for following along as we try out the menu from Roti NM here at Sawmill Market. And so I just wanted to get a feel for what you guys wanted to try the next time you are here. So let me know in the comments below and come check them out if you're ever in the Albuquerque area or just in Old Town or just stopping by traveling. But other than that, um, thank you so much again for following me and eating through their menu with me. And if you like what you see and want to see more of this content, feel free to um, give this video a thumbs up or a heart and turn on post notifications. And don't forget to hit that follow and subscribe button. And that's it for now. So until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye.